Welcome to Oscar Films in 5 Minutes, breaking down the best of the Best Picture nominees. I'm Dan Drake, and in this video, we're looking at Mank, directed by David Fincher and written by his father, Jack Fincher. What's it about? Is it worthy of Oscar nomination? And most importantly, is it worth your time? Let's put 5 minutes on the clock and a spoiler warning on the screen. Here we go. Mank opens on an injured and beleaguered Herman Mankiewicz moving into a ranch where he is to write the screenplay that would become Citizen Kane for Orson Welles. We are set up from the beginning to believe that this is a behind the scenes look at the formation of cinema's most celebrated film. But in true Citizen Kane fashion, Mank tells a spiral story flashing back and forth between the early 1930s and 1940s of Herman becoming disillusioned with the politics of the Hollywood studio system. Here, old Hollywood in all its monochromatic glory is brought to life through deft digital trickery, making it look like a film from the era that it's depicting. Fincher remarked that he wanted the movie to look like it was found in Martin Scorsese's basement waiting to be restored. And it totally does. The coloring, the stark beams of light, the use of deep focused and stage sound are all authentic to the time period. And while this film might seem like it would be confusing to non-cinephiles, Fincher does an incredible job at making this fast-talking, dialogue-heavy drama about Hollywood engaging and extremely watchable. The plot is relatively simple to follow for a film depicting the origin of a decades-old debate. And though the subject matter is the writing of Citizen Kane, the driving question of the film is less who really wrote it, and more, how much power does a writer really have? The narrative is one big circle like a cinnamon roll, not a straight line pointing to the nearest exit. You cannot capture a man's entire life in two hours. All you can hope is to leave the impression of and make an impression Mank does. Gary Oldman is superb as always as the tormented titular character, and Fincher's directing talent is fully on display. Mank is nominated for 10 Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress, Best Director, Best Original Score, Best Cinematography, Costume Design, Production Design, and Sound Design. And I'd say that it fully earns each and every one of those nominations. At first glance, this film looks like it was relatively easy to make. Just get old cameras and old film, great actors and a great script, and boom, you're done. But Mank was actually extremely labor intensive in all of these film departments, not to mention expensive. It has been reported that Fincher digitally touched up every frame of the movie to make it perfectly conform to his vision. And at 24 frames per second, that's a lot of frames. The sound was innovatively recorded. They put the sound through old speakers and recorded it with a microphone a second time. The picture was painstakingly color graded to get the tone, highlights, and shadows of each scene exactly right. And even some clouds in the sky were digitally painted in. The result is an engrossing film about power, art, and the power of art, as well as the life of the artist. And after all that editing and hard work, I'd say this film deserves at least one Oscar. I gave this film four out of five stars, and I definitely think you should check it out. If you'd like a deeper dive into Mank, you can check out our other video essay all about it right here. If you liked this video, you can click here for the rest of the Oscar series, or you can click over there to subscribe. And don't forget to check out patron-only exclusives over at our Patreon page. As little as $1 per month gets you instant full access. And look at that, we didn't even need five minutes. This has been Oscar Films in, in, well, that amount of time. And this is Dan Drake signing out.